Hey, so I'm performing hand hygiene as I walk in the room. Um, hello, my name is Ellen Scanlon, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you tell me your full name, please? Yes, Mary Scanlon. Okay, hi Mary, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Um, what's your age? 25. 25, and your weight? Uh, 140. And your height, please? 5'6". Okay, so we already calculated that earlier, so a weight of 5'6", and or sorry, a height of 5'6", and a weight of 140 would give a BMI of 22.5. Um, which is a really healthy range. Um, and so you're a 25 year old Caucasian female um, and you seem vigorous and healthy. And are you experiencing any pain today? No. So no issues? No. Okay. Um, your dress, grooming, and hygiene all seem appropriate. Uh, your demeanor is cooperative, your affect is animated, and your thought pattern seems logical and relevant. Um, and your speech seems very articulate. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions. As we start this out, so can you tell me, you told me your full name, so it's Mary Scanlon. Um, and where are you right now? In this lovely doctor's office. Uh -huh. Okay, and what day of the week is it? Tuesday. Okay, and what are you here for? Just the checkup. The checkup, okay. Now I'm just going to ask you a few questions um, regarding your remote memory. So, who was the president before President Joseph Biden? Um, Donald Trump. Okay. And what's my name again? Ellen Scanlon. Okay. And if I ask you, what does an apple a day keep the doctor away? What what does that mean to you? Um, to eat healthy and to take preventative measures. Okay, good. And then, if it were raining outside, what would you bring to wear outside? An umbrella. An umbrella, okay. So your abstract thinking is good and you seem very aware. Um, I would say that your level of consciousness is aware and oriented times three, which is really good. Um, so now I am just going to... Check your head, so <laughs> all your structures seem appropriate. Your head's normal cephalic, which is, means it's normal. Um, your symmetry, everything seems symmetrical. Your hair, I'm just gonna touch your head a little bit. So your hair seems evenly distributed um, and it's firmly attached to the scalp. I'm just gonna tug on it a tiny bit. And I don't feel any lumps or lesions. Um, your eyes seem properly aligned and their prominence is appropriate. And now I'm just gonna Check your perla. So I'm just gonna turn this on dim for you. Um, and I just want you to look at the bridge of my nose and I'm just gonna look at your pupils. Okay. Okay, good. Um, so as your pupils are equally round and reactive to light. And now I'm gonna ask you to um, look at the wall. Oops. I'm gonna ask you to look at the wall and I'm gonna hold my pen right here and then I'm just going to ask you to look at my pen. Look at my pen. Okay, good. So convergence and constriction was good and the accommodation was appropriate. Um, now I'm going to look at your extraocular movements. So um, just just follow the light with your eye but don't move your head. Okay. I'll put it on dim for you. Good. So your EOMs are intact. Um, and now I am going to do your ears. So I'm just going to feel them if you can just pull your hair back for a second. Sorry. Okay, your ears seem symmetrical. I don't feel any lumps or lesions. Um, and now I'm just going to grab my flashlight again. I'm going to look into your ears with, your fla with the flashlight. Okay, now it's on this side. Okay. Um, so everything was good. I didn't see any foreign bodies. Um, there were no obstructions or lesions. There's appropriate amount of wax, which is good. Um, and I'm just gonna say that your gross hearing is intact because you've been communicating with me pretty well this whole time. Um, and your nose looks symmetrical. Uh, have you had any previous breaks or anything? No. Okay. So it looks symmetrical. Um, now I'm just gonna look up your nose with this flag, with my light, just okay. to check for any septal deviation. Okay, no septal deviation. Um, everything looks good. You don't have any trouble breathing in or out through your nose, do you? No. And any trouble smelling anything, fragrances or food? No. no. Okay. So your smell's intact as well. And then your throat, so I'm gonna have you open your mouth and I'm gonna shine the light in there. And you're gonna have to say ah. Ah. Okay, your uvula looks good. Um, I don't see any lumps or lesions in the mouth 
All your structures are moist and pink um, and intact and don't see any ulcers or miss missing teeth. Um, and your odor of your breath is not malodorous, which is a good thing. Um, I would do, for a normal assessment, you do a gag reflex, but we're not gonna do that on you, obviously. Um, so, oh, I'm just gonna ask you to swallow for me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. So it's good. And now I'm just going to check your trachea alignment. So I'm just going to feel your trachea. Any tracheal deviation? Okay. Seems very straight. I don't feel any tracheal deviation, which is good. Um, and it's right in the middle. Sorry, I'm just going to put this over there. Okay, and I'm just going to check um, your lymph node. Okay. So I'm going to have you this. So tell me if there's any like tenderness or um, if there's any pain in the arm palpating any of these. So here's preauricular, postauricular, occipital, tonsillar, um, submandibular, and then submental. And here's anterior cervical, posterior cervical, and deep cervical, and then supraclavicular. Is there any pain or tenderness with any of that? No. Okay. And they were all non-palpable. Um, all the lymph nodes were, which is really good. Um, now I'm just gonna check your carotid pulse. So it's gonna go on either side. Okay, this is good and strong. I'd say three plus. I'm gonna check the other side. Okay, that was good. So it's bilaterally strong and three plus and appropriate. Um, so now I'm just going to listen to it with my stethoscope um, to check for any breweries um, <clears throat> in your carotid arteries. Okay, so um, I'm just going to have you, you're going to take a deep breath in and then push it out and then you're going to hold it while I'm listening to your carotid arteries. Okay. That's good. So just take a deep breath in and then push it out. Right now? Yeah. Okay. And then hold it. Keep holding. Keep holding. Okay, keep holding. Keep holding. Okay, good. You can let it out. Here, you can breathe again. <laughs> um, so I don't hear any breweries, which is good. Um, no turbulence. And now I'm going to do your vital signs. So first I'm going to take your temperature. Okay, 97.7, so that's good, that's really normal. Now I'm going to check your pulse. So I'm going to use just a timer on my phone for that. Um, so I'm going to check pulse and respiration, so if I can see your, your wrist please. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to listen for a minute. So there, I did 30 seconds on the pulse and then 30 seconds looking at her respirations. Um, so your pulse 
was seven or 36 for the 30 seconds to 72 and that's totally in the normal range is 60 to 100 so that's a good pulse and then your respirations are 15 which is totally normal as well um and then now i am gonna do your take your blood pressure sorry so do you prefer the arm no no okay Okay, so I'm going to do this eye. Sorry, just here. It's going to get a little tight. Okay, so I'm just going to do it. So I'm actually going to put a pillow under your arm just so it's at level of your heart you can just put your legs down please thank you just gonna do that this let's do this good I got 110 over 55, which is really good. Um, so you want your blood pressure to be um, less than 120 on the systolic and then um, less than 80 on the diastolic. And uh, so yours was 110 over 55, which is really good. Um, so I'll take that off of you. And then now, so Normally we'd have like a, a pulse ox machine or reading machine, but we don't have one of those at home. Um, so I'm just gonna say that your pulse ox would be 98%, which is healthy, which is consistent with your vital signs because they're all healthy as well. So now I'm gonna remove this, sorry. And now I'm just gonna take a look at your lungs. So first I'm just gonna inspect um, your anterior thorax. So everything looks good, um, it looks very symmetrical and um, has appropriate structure, shape, and size. Um, so, and your skin, so I'm just gonna move my hair back to look at your skin. So your skin color uh, is the appropriate flesh tone and uh, the temperature feels warm, which is good. Your moisture, it seems appropriately moist. Um, your skin turner, so I'm just gonna pinch your skin real fast. Good, so skin turner is good. That means you're well hydrated. Um, and then your texture is smooth and you're negative for any lesions um, and everything looks symmetrical. So now I'm going to pal palpate your clavicles here. Okay, good. So um, your clavicles are a good level and they're symmetrical. Um, and now I'm just going to palpate your sternum. I'm going to start from the sternal notch and go all the way down through your xiphoid process. So make sure your sternum is straight and strong. Okay, good. Everything's symmetrical. Um, and now I'm just gonna put my hands on your shoulders. I'm gonna have you shrug up for me. Okay, good. So there's good strength in your shoulders. And now I'm gonna test your respiratory excursion. So I'm gonna have you turn your head to the side and then I'm just gonna put my hands right under your chest. And you can, come, you can come right on the side to see this. And I'm going to have you take a big deep breath in and then let it out. Okay, good. So your respiratory excursion was good. 
Um, it was symmetrical and deep. And now I'm just gonna listen to the front of your lungs. So, um, I'm just gonna have you take deep breaths for me, but no quicker than normal. Um, and then I'm gonna have you turn your head to the side. Okay, can you turn your head to the side? And the, does that matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. And then just take deep breaths, but no quicker than you usually do. Okay, good, so everything sounded good. There's vesicular breath sounds heard throughout, um, which is good. And so your rating was consistent with your uh, vital signs. Your rhythm was regular. The depth was deep. Um, your effort was non-labored and you didn't hear any use of accessories, so negative use of accessories, and there were no um, extra lung sounds or adventitious breath sounds. Um, so, now I'm going to take a look at your back, so if you could just turn this way, just so your back is facing the camera. Okay, and I'm just going to have you pull your hair in front. Are you, do you mind just putting it up? Yeah, okay, thanks. Um, okay, so now I'm going to inspect your posterior thorax. So the size and shape of it all seem appropriate. Um, you seem nice and symmetrical. Um, first, I'm just going to palpate your... Uh, your spine, or your, oh, sorry, I'm, first I'm gonna palpate the scapulae. So, just gonna go here. Okay, good. And now I'm gonna palpate your spine. I'm gonna go down each vertebrae. Um, this is just to check for any scoliosis. So going down each vertebrae. Good. Okay, so your spine is really straight, um, negative for any scoliosis. You, um, yeah. And was there any pain when I was palpating that at all? No. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to do the respiratory excursion again. So I'm going to put my hands right here and then will you take a deep breath? Let it out. Okay, good. So your respiratory excursion was symmetrical and deep, um, which is good. It's just like the front. And now I'm just gonna look at your S curvature. So I'm just gonna see, make sure you have appropriate S curvature of your back, which you do. Um, and then now I'm gonna check your, um, your AP diameter. So your AP diameter should be half the diameter of your transverse thorax. So I'm gonna go from the front and take it to the back and it's exactly half, um, which is good. So that means you have no uh, barrel chesting. So now I'm going to listen to the back of your lungs. Okay, so I'm going to just ask you to give yourself like a little hug kind of. And then um, just take deep breaths again, but no quicker than you usually do.
Okay, everything was good. Um, so just like the front, your rate was consistent with your vital signs. Um, your rhythm was regular. Your depth was deep because I was asking you to take deep breaths. Um, your effort was non-labored, and then I it was negative for any um, adventitious breath sounds or um, uh, yeah, uh, no um, adventitious breath sounds. Oh, and no use of accessories. Okay, so now I'm gonna listen to your heart. So I'm gonna have you lie down just on your back. If you put your head this way, please. Um, so first I am just gonna, okay. So first I'm just gonna look at your chest sideways and just breathe normally. So I'm looking for any heaves or lifts, um, which would be a sign of an enlarged heart. And I don't see any, I'm not seeing any pulsations or anything. So that's good. So now I am going to um, palpate. So I'm gonna go from your sternal notch to the angle of Louis to your second rib, second rib and center, second intercostal space. So this is where the um, aortic side is. So I don't feel any. I don't feel any pulsations. Negative for thrills as well. And I'm gonna go to pulmonic. No pulsations. Also negative for thrills. Um, herbs point. No pulsations. Negative for thrills. And then um, tricuspid in the fourth intercostal space. No pulsations. Negative for thrills. And then also in the fifth intercostal space. For tricuspid again. So no pulsations and negative for thrills, and then um, your mitral in your fifth intercostal space mid corticuline. So I do feel a pulsation here, but that's normal because that's where um, the apex of the heart is, and that's where the point of maximal impulse should be. So I feel pulsations there, but that's totally normal. Um, so now I am just going to look at, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to listen to your heart now. I'm starting at aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs point. And tricuspid. And then a baby, take a baby step. And another baby step. And go to the mitral. I'm gonna baby step back, baby step back, into tricuspid, herbs point, pulmonic, and then aortic again. Okay, so that all sounded good. Um, so. Your rate was regular and consistent with your vital signs. Um, the rhythm was regular, the intensity is strong, and um, your diameter and duration are both appropriate as well. Um, so now, and also your um, S1 was louder. There was appropriate relationship of S1 and S2. So S1 was louder at the mitral site and S2 is louder at the aortic site, which is exactly how you want it to be. Um, and there was negative for any um, high pitch sounds or extra heart sounds or murmurs or clicks. Um, and yeah, appropriate relationship of S1 and S2. So now I'm gonna listen on the bell side of the stethoscope to um, listen to see if there's any low pitch extra heart sounds. Okay, so aortic, sorry. Okay, aortic. Pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and baby step, baby step, mitral, 
Okay, that sounded good. So I didn't hear any extra um, heart sounds, no low, low pitched heart sounds. Um, so it's really good. Your heart sounds really awesome, Mary. Um, so I'm gonna keep you laying down because I'm gonna um, I inspect your abdomen. So um, do you have any pain with your belly at all? Yeah. No, okay. So I am going to just inspect for a second. So there's no distended abdomen, as you can see. Um, your abdomen isn't extended at all or distended, which is good. Um, and can I ask you to just pull up your shirt a little bit just so I can look at your stomach? Um, and I'm just gonna pull down your shorts a tiny bit. Sorry. Okay, so now I'm just gonna listen to um, your uh, bowel sounds. Um, so, First, I'm just gonna listen to um listen to your bowel sound frequency. So I'm gonna listen to one um quadrant for a full minute. So I'm gonna use the timer again. Okay, so I heard about 11 bowel sounds, which is good, and that's within the normal range. Um, so now I am just going to, um, so yeah, your, your bowel frequent sound frequencies were normal after, so now I'm just going to percuss your belly, um, so I'm just going to do a laugh around it. So that was good, and now I'm just gonna um, palpate it. So I'm gonna go um, from like lighter to deep, or softer to deep. It's just gonna lap. Tell me if any of this is painful or tender. Okay, and I'm going near your bladder um, just to check for any distension of the bladder, which I don't feel any, which is good. Okay, so everything feels good. Um, and now you, I can have you sit up if you'd like, sit up. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions about, um, elimination. So, um, when you urinate or pee, um, is it usually like a, would you say it's like a good amount, like, um, quantity sufficient, which means, so do you feel like the amount of liquids that you're taking in usually is coming out? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, and what, what is your urine color usually? Mm, clear. Clear? Okay. Okay, good. So you're hydrated. Um, and now for your bowel patterns, so how would you describe, or like how often do you have a bowel movement? Is it like every day, every other day? Every day. Every day? Okay, good. That's normal. Um, and I'm just going to ask you, and this seems kind of personal, but I'm just going to ask you. So same with the quantity sufficient, quantity sufficient stuff. So do you feel like the food you're eating, like that, it's it's an adequate amount to your bowel movements? Yep. Okay. And then um, are your bowel movements soft? Like are, they're not, you're not constipated, you don't have diarrhea, do you? No. No, okay. And um, <clears throat> what's what's the color of it usually? So, so it's, you don't have any, <laughs> there's no like, it's not black or clay colored or really light. Okay, school. Okay, good. Because the normal color is brown. <laughs> so normal color is brown. And you'd say yours are brown? Yes. Okay. okay. So for some of the last steps of our assessment, 
Um, I'm just gonna look at your musculoskeletal system. So do you have any joint pain anywhere yeah. in your body? No, okay. And um, you seem like you have no deformities. Your musculoskeletal system <laughs> and your muscles all look good and symmetrical. Um, I don't see any muscle atrophy or anything like that. Um, do you have any limitations to like any range of motion or movement with your joints or your muscles? No. No, okay, good. Um, and any crepitus, which is like crunching that you feel in your joints at all in, no. in any part of the day? Yeah. No, okay, good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna look at your tummy. So I'm gonna have you uncross your legs, please, and put your hands just on your knees. Oh. <laughs> like this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna feel. <laughs> just gonna feel your arms. Okay, so the temperature is warm. Um, <laughs> now I'm just gonna feel your feet as well. Okay, so your temp is bilaterally warm. Um, and now I'm gonna check your pulses. Um, so I am just gonna check your. Let's see your. I'm gonna check your radio pulses again. Okay, and then I'm gonna check your posterior tibial pulses. You can come closer. Posterior tibial pulses. And then I'm gonna check your um, dorsalis pedis pulses. Okay, good, so all your pulses are strong and present. And present. Um, they're th three plus, which is good and really normal. And now I am going to do capillary refill. So I'm going to need to see your hands. You can just put them back on your legs. So I'm just going to check. I'm just going to blanch your fingers. Close your hands. Okay. Kind of hard to see with nail polish on, but I can see them. Okay, those are all brisk um, in under two seconds. Now I'm going to do the same for your feet. Okay. okay, and all that capillary refill, so you bilateral brisk capillary refill, which is really good. Um, and then for edema, I'm not even going to check for that because, well, I kind of already have. Um, I don't see any puffiness or redness on any of your extremities, um, and I can see all your bony structures, which is good, um, so you're not swollen at all. Um, so now I'm just going to test your strength on your upper extremities. So can you wrap your hands around my fingers? <laughs> and then can you pull them towards you and push them towards me? Okay, good. And then um, can, for your legs, can you push forward on my hands? And then can you pull backwards? Okay, and then for your feet, can you push upwards on my hands? And then, sorry, I'm gonna go on your toes. Can you push down? Okay, good. So all your extremities are strong. Um, the strength is strong and bilateral and symmetrical. And then for your coordination, I'm just gonna ask you to stand up and can you just walk to that bookcase and back, please? Okay, good. So your coordination is good. Um, and then for sensations, do you normally feel like on all your sensations, you normally feel like hot, cold, smooth, hard, soft, all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay, good. Um, um, and that's on both your upper and lower extremities. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, so now I'm just gonna look at your reflexes. So I'm gonna just bang on your knee a little bit. So I'm gonna have you uncross your legs. You can come closer. So these are your deep tendon reflexes. Oh, um, so maybe like let your legs hang. Oh. Actually, yeah. Can you just sit back a little so they hang a little? Thanks. Okay. That hurt. <laughs> okay, so a little bit in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now I'm going to do it for your biceps. So um, I'm just going to cross your arms. Sometimes this doesn't work. Um, so like make a muscle with your arm and then relax it. Now we'll see if this works. Let's see. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so <laughs> that, um, I'm gonna try on your other one. So make it must. Okay, relax. Here, uncross your, unfold your arms. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's good. So, um, all that matters is that your patellar, um, was pretty good. Um, I'd probably give it a two. And three plus is normal. That was probably my fault. I, I don't think I, I don't know if I did the best job at that. Um, but your biceps and brachii, yeah, that's, that's not one that we're looking for super strongly. So, um, all that matters is that you did have some like reaction in your patellar and your knee. And then lastly, Mary, can you just tell me what my name was again? Ellen Scanlon. Okay. So Mary, you seem very healthy. Um, and it was a pleasure taking care of you today and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.